Hi, today we're looking at photographing missile thrushes. Now the missile thrush is one of those birds that can become very habituated to people, especially in the London parks. They're quite numerous down in London and the city parks, they're very tame and approachable. But today we're in Worcestershire and I just happened to be here yesterday in this country park walking about and there was a pair of missile thrushes on this short grass picking up worms and flying back to those woods over there to presumably feed the young on a nest. So I walked up to them and the one bird was very, very nervous, didn't get within 50 metres of it, but the other was quite approachable and I got almost close enough for pictures. So I've come back this morning to have a go with the camera lens and see if we can get close to it. Unfortunately, I can't tell the birds apart, so when they land, I don't know which is the nervous one and which one is the tamer one but very quickly I would expect to pick up little clues just from its behaviour. This isn't really working. What's happening is the, the bird has developed a mindset or a habit. We're not, I'm not getting any closer to the bird. What I'm doing is walking parallel with it. So the bird's going along here and I'm coming along here and just not getting any closer. And birds develop this mindset. They get into a habit and he's quite comfortable. He's feeding, but he's just moving all the time because I'm moving. So I'm going to try and break the mindset and I'm just, I'm going to stop. And now I'm just going to just hang around, just keep reasonably close, but not try to get in towards the bird, wait for him to change. He's still moving away from me at the moment, but now he's starting to slow down a bit. And I'll wait till he starts to go off to the left or the right. Wait until I become a part of the landscape. I haven't been here very long yet. Just get him used to me. It usually doesn't take long before a bird does start to accept you as part of the landscape and takes less and less notice of you. I was taking a mixture of video footage and stills pictures and eventually the bird will actually start walking towards you and then you just keep still and of course the lower down you go the better. If you can crouch down it will come even closer and if you lie down on the floor closer still you're less of a threat the lower down you get. Now this is something I say quite often. It's all very well having all the gear, but you've got to have it here. So I've got tripods that will go down to floor level, but not actually with me. That happens all too often but for taking stills pictures with that Olympus 300mm lens, seven and a half stops of image stabiliser, that's not a problem. But I wouldn't attempt to do video because it will be too shaky. But the bird is now very relaxed and coming much, much closer to me. And I'm only half hour into the session. I did start to notice that the bird would always fill its bill up to capacity before it would fly off and go back to the nest. And then you start to realise there's an opportunity here for flight photography. At that stage you can see you can still get more worms in there. But now he's pretty well full. So he's going to have one more worm and he's going to fly. And so long as I could position myself between the bird and the nest he's going to fly past me and I thought this was a fantastic opportunity to do flight photography of missile thrushes. Now I took probably about 500 pictures and only about 10 of them were in focus. It's not an easy subject to do, it's very fast flying but I was fairly pleased with the result. I photographed those missile thrushes for three mornings in succession the last morning was just doing them in flight and then I decided to leave them alone and move on to something else. About two days later the Sony A1 and the 200-600 zoom 
finally arrived. I've mentioned it a couple of times in my channel before that I was, I was waiting for it. It took me about three days to get it out of the box because we've had such a run of good weather. I've been out from early to late every day. But finally I got it out of the box and then last night I thought I should go and have another go at those missile thrushes. A great opportunity to put this gear to the test. Now I've been lucky because I've arrived here and clearly the missile thrushes have fledged because the birds are still flying to the woodland but they're going into different parts so they're not quite going in the straight line anymore but it's still good enough and I've been photographing them and just looking on the back of the camera it is a wonderful autofocus system it is a huge leap forward in autofocus capability and it's locking onto this missile thrush apparently all the time now I expected that we've seen all the reviews on YouTube and elsewhere I knew it was going to be good for autofocus but what really excites me about this camera that other people don't rave about but I think is enormous advantage is the flicker free viewfinder the Sony A9 had it and I remember looking through that camera at one point and thought wow this is marvelous but I never understood why I don't hear other photographers raving about the flickerless image it makes a huge difference you can have the best autofocus system going but if you can't keep the bird in the frame as it's flying around it's pointless well with continuous viewing without that annoying flicker between frames it is so much easier to lock onto that bird and keep following it and i've been having great success with that missile thrush as it's coming really really close to me i'm keeping it in the frame so very impressed hopefully i'm going to show you a few pictures on the video i took around 500 pictures again but this time there was only about five pictures that were not in focus it really did an incredible job but more importantly for me it's the fact there was no flicker in that viewfinder i was able to see the bird so clearly i was able to track it far far easier and keep it in the frame now the shutter speed here is still 2500th of a second the light wasn't very bright and so there's a lack of sharpness in the pictures but they were sharp and then the sun came out and I was able to go up to four thousandths of a second but it's not just the faster shutter speed that's made the pictures sharp it's the fact you've got that bright light it puts detail into the bird so these last five pictures are nice and sharp very impressive system I've no plans to sell my Olympus equipment at the moment I'm expecting Olympus to catch up and then I can make a decision sometime in the future. Thanks for watching.